In this tutorial, we'll be looking at some of the inquiry commands in AutoCAD, specifically list, distance, and ID. To start, I will open the inquiry toolbar. Here we see the inquiry toolbar, and I'll dock it to the side. Now we need some geometry to work with, so I'll draw a line and then a circle. The first inquiry command we will look at is the list command. The alias for the list command is simply li. I'll select it from the toolbar and now it's prompting me to select objects. So I will click on the line as well as the circle and press enter. The AutoCAD text window is now displayed. You can open and close this window at any time with the F2 function key. It essentially records all of your command input keeping a record of your entire AutoCAD session. I would like to point out that this text window is related to the command line. The command line, at least on default, shows the last three lines of the text window. So, you see command, area, and circumference in the command line, as well as in the text window. At the top of the window, you see the start of the list command. Then, we selected a line, and then a circle. So here, it's reporting back that we found those. Finally, we press Enter, and AutoCAD now displays information about each object. For the line, it indicates that it's a line object, specifies the layer, space, and handle, which we won't worry about. It also reports the coordinates of the endpoints of the line, as well as the length and angle in XY plane. It also gives us the delta x and delta y value. This is the change in x and the change in y from the first to the second point. In the case of the circle, you see that it displays similar properties, as well as the center point, radius, circumference, and area. You can see that this information can be very useful when you're looking to troubleshoot your drawing to determine why something's not working the way you would expect. Now, I'll close the text window. To demonstrate toggling this window on and off, I'll press the F2 key twice. Let's say that we wanted to know the exact distance between the center point of this circle and the midpoint of the line. One thing that we could do is draw a line using the object snaps and then list the properties. An easier way would be to use the distance command. Click on distance and snap to one of the points. To use the center snap, I will type CEN and press enter. Select the center of the circle and then type MID for the midpoint snap. Select the midpoint of the line and you see that the distance between those two points is listed in the command line. In addition to that, it provides the angle in the plane, as well as the change in x and the change in y. So that's the distance command. The last command we will look at in this tutorial is the ID command. The ID command is used to identify the coordinates of a point. For example, I would like to know the coordinate of that endpoint. First, select the ID icon. Next, I'll type end, enter, to use the endpoint object snap. And finally, select the point. There are the coordinates of that endpoint in the current coordinate system. This completes the first tutorial on using inquiry commands. We looked at the list, distance, and ID commands.